guys, it's Mia. Today we're going to be going over a Python function that you guys learned called norm.ppf and we're gonna go oh, through a problem just to kind of see visually what is happening in this um, problem and kind of give you a better understanding of what this function is doing. So here I just have a couple notes. So the function norm.ppf will return the exact point where the probability of everything to the left of that point is equal to y. And y is just what you're plugging into um, the function between the parentheses. It's going to be a probability number. Um, in other words, the norm.ppf function will give you the z-score given that you know the probability. And I said that I put confidence intervals here because um, we're commonly going to use this function when we're trying to calculate a confidence interval. So remember to find a confidence interval. Um, it's going to be your mean, and you're going to add or add and subtract the margin of error. To find the margin of error, you're going to need the z-score of the confidence interval and multiply that by the standard error. And what this fun what norm PPF does is going to help us find the z-score of the confidence interval. So let's go through an example um, of just finding the z-score. So find the z-score for a 95% confidence level. Um, so I have the normal curve right here because it's going to help us visualize what's going on. So when we say a 95% confidence level, what we're saying is that, oops, sorry guys, 95% um, the normal curve is covered here in the middle and it's going to lie in between these two z-scores right here. So, um, another way you can think of this is how far do we have to go from the mean to cover 95% of the curve. Let's pretend our mean is right down the middle right here. Also, um, totally free, free drew all of this. So just pretend this is a normal curve. I know it kind of looks a little, maybe a little skewed, but just roll with it. Um, it's a normal curve, so it's going to be symmetrical. <laughs> um, so what we're looking for here is the z-scores where 95% of the normal curve lies in between. And notice that, oops, notice that the tails here are uncounted for in the 95%, but they're still important. They're going to be really important and crucial here. So um, we can actually find the area of these two tails because remember, these two tails are going to be equal. The areas of these two tails are going to be equal. I know it doesn't look like it because of the picture. Um, that I drew, but let's just, in a normal curve, these two areas would be equal. Um, and we can actually find the area of these two tails, uh, because knowing, now that we know that it's 95% in the middle, we can find the area of these two tails because in a normal curve, the area of the curve is going to be equal to one. And to find these two curves, or these two tails, you can do one minus the middle area, which is already accounted for 95%. 1 minus 0.95 is equal to 0.05. So that's going to be the sum of the two tails, the sum of the area of the two tails. Um, but to find the individual area of the tail, you're going to divide this by 2, and you're going to get 0.025. So the area of each tail is 0.025. Oops, there's that one. So it doesn't look confusing. So now what we can do is remember how I said that the norm.ppf will return the exact point where the probability of everything to the left of that point is equal to y. So we can use this area because everything to the left of this is equal to 0 0.025, so we know the probability. So to find the z-score, we can just plug that probability into the function norm.ppf, 0.025. 
and that's going to give you something a little when you plug that into python that's going to give you one point around 1.96 or python might give you negative 1.96 but um, when we're working with confidence intervals just always use the positive one so that's going to be our final z-score for our 95 percent confidence interval so to answer this question, how far do we have to go from the mean to cover 95% of the curve of the normal curve? It's going to be between z-scores of 1.96 or negative 1.96 and 1.96. And that's going to be your z-score for a 95% confidence interval. And you can use this for any confidence level, an 80% confidence level, a 99% confidence level, a 90% confidence level. Um, what I recommend doing whenever you see this is to draw a picture just so you know what you're plugging in because sometimes people might plug in norm.ppf dot um, norm.ppf and plug in 95 into there but remember that let's say we're looking at an 80% confidence level you have a normal curve oh my god that's so bad remember 80% is in the middle and um, to find the z-score, we're going to use the area of the tails. So 1 minus 0.8 is going to be 0.2. So the area of each tail is going to be 0.1 because you divide that by 2. So what you're plugging in to here to find the z-score is 0.1. To find your z-score for an 80% confidence level. Um, and that should be it. I hope that helped. Um, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye.